All right, so getting started with School Dude, we're going to want to make sure that we go to our login website, and this link can be found on the PD website for Grays Lake Central or in Schoology. You're going to use your school email address and then the password. If you've never used School Dude before, then make sure that you register ahead of time. So we've used it, so we're going to put in our password and sign in. This screen is going to come up that's going to ask if it's just a normal schedule. So if you're just looking for kind of a one off event or use of something, if you have a meeting where you're going to need a room on a regular basis, you're going to want to do a recurring schedule. Um, these are probably the two that you're going to use most often. If you have something really unique, you might need the irregular schedule. We're going to start and walk through a normal schedule of an event. So we're going to click on that and it's going to bring up this sheet. Some of it will be pre-populated based on your registration. Um, you're going to give your event a title. Um, the description is helpful and then the area that you're looking for. So whether it's um, athletics or cafeteria or classroom, so you want a general location. Computer labs, only if it's outside of the normal school day. Again, during the school day, you'll use the book system for computer labs. So we're going to use a classroom, and we want to specify which part of the building or which building it's in. So we're going to pick central, and then the list of classrooms pops up. And so you can kind of scroll through and find the classroom that you're looking for. So we'll just pick this top one. We're going to want to select the dates that we need it. So if we need it on July 7th, we can click on that and we can see that it populates that date in this box. If you need it for multiple dates, you can select whatever applies. You can click the check availability button. And it will show you if that uh, that room is booked. During the time that you're looking and so you can kind of use this key and the schedule on the bottom to see if it's being used. If it's already signed out, then you might have to find an alternate location or plan. If you're looking to use an activity bus, make sure that you select transportation from the list and the four buses will pop up. If you highlight one of the buses and select the date that you wish to use it, you can check availability. Check the times that that activity bus may be in use. Make sure you're selecting times that aren't in use, maybe a little bit of lead time before and after just in case. Okay. Your start time. So if we're starting at 7 a.m. If you need additional setup time before that, you can mark it here. And then your end time needs to be after your start time. So if we just need it from 7 to 10, and then we'll see that it populates that we're going to be there for three hours over one day. Again, that same check availability button is there to see if it's already been reserved by someone else. Your organization, so if you're athletics at Central or if you scroll down, you can see like teachers at Central, student activities at Central. These are all options to pick from. So if we pick student activities, the contact name um, syncs and comes up, but you can say other and then type in your name or anyone else that you want to use as the main contact person. The email, daytime telephone, if you have your office number, then you can put that in there. The billing address will be the same, just click use organization building ad billing address if you're reserving something for Grays Lake Central. Um, some of these boxes are more for outside users of the facilities. Same with the insurance information. All right, setup requirements. Definitely take some time to look through and think about what kinds of things you need, either maintenance or the IT um, to have set up for you. The more information you can provide, the more helpful it is for the people bringing the materials in. So if you need lunch tables, you click on that and then say how many you need, what kind you need, if you need chairs with them, those kinds of things. Um, but definitely read through this list and select all of the different items. What they'll do is create work orders based on this information. So work orders get created from the required maintenance services, and then um, SpiceWorks get created from the required IT services. So 
um, read through the list, select what you need, and then make sure that you give a description in the box that then opens up. Uh, the number of people attending, so this is your total number. So if we have, we requested a classroom, so let's say 25 with one adult and 24 students, so you can fill that in. If there's any other needs that you have. If it should be on the facilities calendar, just leave that yes. And then your password. And so the password is on the handout. It's a general password. This is not your personal password. All right, so you're just going to use that one general password and then click save. And that will be added to the calendar. So this is all tentative until it goes through a series of approvals. So we see here, like our event has been saved. We go to my requests. We can scroll down to all the different requests that have been made. Um, we called this one practice event, so we see that it's submitted, it's inactive until it gets through the approval process. Um, what it's for, the dates, everything else is there. If you click on it, it will open back up to your screen, so if you need to make changes, you can do that.